Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how to configure Secure Gateway Integration Service to access the DB2 database running on an on-premise server and access the DB2 database from the Java application running on Bluemix. Let us start the demo by logging into Bluemix. Click Login button. Provide the user ID. Provide the password. Then click Sign in button. In the Bluemix dashboard, click Use Services or APIs. In the catalog page, click the checkbox for integration and then click Secure Gateway Service. Secure Gateway Services page, leave Unbound for App and then click Create. Click Add Gateway. Provide the gateway name. Since we are going to access the DB2 server, let's give the gateway name as DB2 Gateway. Click Connect it. So here we see the command to run the secure gateway client on the machine where we have the DB2 server. Copy the information. Let's go to the Linux machine where we are our DB2 server is running. So copy paste the command along with that provide hyphen hyphen net equal to host. So this is to enable accessing the application running on any host. So now the, the tunnel is connected, the secure tunnel is connected. So let's go back to the Bluemix. So now click Add Destinations. So provide the destination name. So here we are going to access the student database. So let's give the destination name as student. You can give any name. And let's give the IP address of the machine where the DB2 server is running and then give the port number in which we can access the DB2 database then click add so now the gateway and the destination has been added so copy the cloud host and port information copy it and click I am done now our DB2 gateway with one destination is configured successfully. Now let us go to the Eclipse and add the cloud host and port information to our application. Open the class. So the go to the place where we have provided the connection information. Copy paste the information what we have got from the secure gateway and save the changes. So now we are going to deploy this application to Bluemix directly from the Eclipse using the IBM Bluemix plugin available for Eclipse. Click new server, click the IBM Bluemix, click next, provide the email ID. The password. Click validate account. The account is validated successfully. Click next. So select the ORG. Click next. Add the application and then click finish. The Bluemix server is started and the application is getting published. So provide the application name. Click save to manifest file. Click next and validate the information provided here. Then click next and select the secure gateway service which we have configured earlier. Then click finish. So now the application is getting created and pushed. The build pack has retrieved the Java and the Liberty runtime and it has created the droplet and now it is uploading the droplet. It is started and the server is running now. The application is successfully launched. It's a student database. Click create student table. The table is created successfully. Then click add student. To add student information, provide the name, role number, age, department, then grade, then click add. The student information has been added successfully. Click list students to display the student information. Then click drop student table. 
the table has been dropped successfully. In this demo, we have seen how secure gateway service can be configured to access a DB2 database running on an on-premise server and how to use the cloud host and port information provided by the service in a Java application and deploy that application to Bluemix using IBM Bluemix Eclipse plugin and run the application. Thanks for watching the demo.